Well, I'm here as part of a uh, trip I do regularly to London and Europe, uh, where we talk to people who lend money to us, people who want to buy some of the shares the government's floating at the moment. Uh, and it's always a great opportunity to talk to Kiwis because they are well embedded in the economy here. Uh, they know what's going on. They have good advice for us. Uh, and they also have a genuine interest in what's happening in New Zealand. In New Zealand confidence is rising. There's a, a sense that people feel they've handled a difficult situation well. So when we look out ahead, we're pretty confident about where we can get to over the next four or five years, provided we stick to the current track. For a small distant country it's really important that we uh, maintain our global connectedness and our outward looking approach. And not only the opportunity is massive but our export community has become much more capable of taking those opportunities. So we've got a lot of, a huge lump actually of intellectual capital which I think we should be uh, doing a lot more with. I was very impressed actually to hear it be part of a couple of discussions this morning of Kiwi companies who've been very successful here and who are actively looking to bring other New Zealand businesses in behind them. So this is an organisation that's now survived the test of time. Uh, it's certainly uh, valuable to governments, no doubt about that, uh, because it's, it's a readily available source of intelligence, advice and connection uh, in, in most of the major cities that we do business with. Thank you.